people as the race to 2023 elections intensify, uh, intensifies, political parties are perfecting strategies in the battle for tickets and votes. The new national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Senator Abdullahi Adamo, has urged Senate Minority Leader Ayinaya Baribe to leave the opposition People's Democratic Party if he must actualize his ambition to become governor of Abia State. At the valedictory session organized to mark the exit of Mr. Adamo, Abubakar Kiari and the Deputy Governor of Zamfara State, Hassan Mohamed Nasiha, from the Senate, the APC National Chairman urged Abari Bay to join the APC and get a governorship ticket. Well, let me uh, take this to you, uh, Mayor. Uh, I, I know that um, Senator Abari Bay will be torn between leaving his party to join the APC in, in order to actualize his political ambition. Looking at the, you know, the, the zoning I don't, I don't think so. Nigerian, Nigerian politicians don't have principle. What they look at is self-interest. So it's no matter of it will feel it will be turning from his party, from PDP and APC. There's no difference between PDP and APC. It's just it's just same same thing. What they, what most politicians look at is the self-interest. Mm -hmm. And you know, Abaribi has been deputy governor, was deputy governor to Kalu, and um, he has always wanted to be president. You know, from the I think they call it his area Ankwa or something. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, his own his own his own area of Abia. Mm -hmm. They are in the minority. Yeah. So. Um, he has always wanted to be governor of that state, and it's so difficult. It's so difficult because most times when they do primaries, mm -hmm. he's always losing out. And he has been he has been a very a very um, outstanding senator. Yeah. So it's not impossible because already there is talk that he wants to run for governor, and PDP is not is not um, is not ready to give him that ticket. And I won't be surprised. If he can, if there is a guarantee from APC that he can get the ticket, I don't think he will think about. I will think will twice, think twice about, so. about moving to APC yeah. because you you've seen a lot of politicians who have moved from who used to be in PDP, they move to they move to APC. From APC, they move back to PDP. They don't see anything. Nigerian politicians don't see anything wrong in moving from one party to another. What is important to them is self-interest. Right, thank you. Uh, so it, it does appear that um, the zoning formula might not. Uh, favor Senator Inaya Baribe at the end of the day? Yes, the zoning formula is a problem now. It's a problem now. It's not the only one. Even the EK Ekurimadu also has the same problem. Mm -hmm. Ekurimadu wants to be governor. Um, he's eminently qualified. He's a man of high standing. But the governor wants the zoning formula, zoning um, arrangement maintained. Yeah. So the governor want, does not want it disrupted in any way. So that is not something that sits well with um, with Rike Kuremadu. He thinks that um, he's best placed mm -hmm. to govern the state, to become governor of the state, and he wants to actualize his ambition. The same thing with um, Abari Bay, in that state now, is probably the most popular politician. He's very popular with the uh, with the ordinary people and even the high pop um, <laughs> elements, you know, because he's consistent. He opposes the government regularly. He's, he sees himself as a mouthpiece of the opposition, the main mouthpiece of the opposition in the in the Senate. So, but. It is not every politician that defects up and down. There are some politicians who would rather die than defect to the APC. Yeah. Because of their principles? Yes. People like Sule Lamido, he has been in the PDP from day one. He was part of the founding fathers of the PDP, yeah. who sat together with Bola Ige to write the constitution of the PDP before Bola Ige. Abadi Banjo and others now left the PDP, you know, to form the AD. So you cannot tell him about defecting to the uh, APC. He will never listen to you. Abadi Bay is also one such person. He's remained consistent. He's been in the PDP from day one. You know, even when he was persecuted by his governor and wrongly uh, kicked out of office, 
he still stayed in the party. Because that would have been an ideal reason to defect to a party. When someone who's, uh, whom you are his deputy decides to kick you out of office. You know? So is that to say that some the people... Remember like I interviewed him. He, Remember I interviewed him yeah. sometime last year. Yeah. I brought up this matter. I said, I won't be surprised if you defect to the APC. And he said, it's not everybody that thinks of defecting. I said, well, we hear that they are talking to your governor. Your governor could leave anytime. I said, if your governor can leave, how about you? And he said, they will never defect. Yeah. I want to give him that benefit of the doubt. There are people who would rather sacrifice their ambitions than do what goes against their principles. Yeah. You know? So it's not as if um, the people don't try to woo them. Yeah. People try to woo them, but still, they choose to. I think that for the APC, we told you Zokalu in the APC, it may be difficult even for him to completely go in there because of the history between both men. It's the same thing, I've said it before, that someone like the like um, Kwan Kwaso mm -hmm. and Shikarao will never be in the same party. It's not going to happen. The moment one person joins the party where the other person is, that person moves mm -hmm. out. It's mm -hmm. always been like that. You anyway, um, quickly, before we move to the next um, topic, Mayor, we'll definitely witness more defections in the coming months. I yeah, I, I, I concede that Abari Bay is um, a principal uh, politician. Yes, and uh, like he, like um, Jide said, he was already said in an interview that he would prefer to stay in PDP and not go to APC. But we have seen politicians who told us that I will never join this party. <laughs> and they left and joined that party. You see, what is, what is permanent in politics is interest. Mm. Because as at the time you were saying, I will not join APC, it has not been offered the governorship of APC. Mm. That's a different thing. That could change things, you understand? If, for example, there is, there's a guarantee that, look, if you come to our party, we will give you the ticket. Mm. That may change. So what I'm saying now is that because he said he will not join APC, mm. it's not a guarantee that he will not join. Mm. Because what is... What is, what is permanent in politics is interest. Absolutely interest. The, if, when the interest changes, anything can happen. <laughs> because we've seen a lot of politicians, I don't want to start mentioning their names, of course, a lot of them very who glaring. have vowed that <laughs> I will never leave this party and join this party. Who we'll say, oh, the other party, who we'll demonize the other party, yeah. and they are in, that, in that, that same party now. But there are politicians too. Yes, I who would never, who will and never that's why that. I yes, gave the I example agree. of Sule Lamido. And it's not like the only one. Do, I it's not the only one. I respect. Mm -hmm. You see, because um, when you see when you see he was opposed uh, to defer to the APC yes. along with those five governors I agree. when they walked out on Jonathan. Yes, I agree. I told my boss then, uh, uh, Mr. Ogunle, I said Sule will not join the uh, APC. I said, mark my word. I said it publicly in the newsroom. I said, Sule Lamido will not join the APC. And that's what happened. Because yeah. oh, this is somebody no, that I had known closely yeah. since around 1991, 1992. You know, so if, if you know people closely, you can sometimes, or most times, even predict uh, what they can action. do. Mm. I, I don't see Ashwaju, for example, going to the PDP. Yeah. Same here. I don't see. So, I don't see so it. it's not even if they offer him the ticket. I don't see him going there. Mm. I don't see him. Anyway. So it's not uh, um, every politician that has a price. Mm. Majority of them. You can say they have a price, but it's not every politician yeah, that has a some, price. Yes, that's some yeah. people with integrity. Yes, I absolutely. We, we, we tend to see, always see all of these kind of people, you know, junketing, jumping from one place to mm -hmm. the other when it comes to party, you know, defections. Mm -hmm.